Hey everyone, this is Nusrath Beg of NusrathBeg.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. So today, we will be talking about creating your Facebook fan page the right way. So in my previous video about branding uh, and how important it is for network mar marketers to brand themselves, to, to stand beyond their uh, network marketing uh, company, uh, to, to stand independent of their network marketing company, you must brand yourself and within the uh, this within I guess a a uh, a sub subject of branding you know uh, creating a Facebook fan page falls under that okay um, so uh, I've also uh, encouraged people to create their own Twitter profile so I will be creating a video uh, for that uh, so so if you have not signed up for uh, if you've not gone on my blog and signed up for my newsletter, please do so, uh, so you can get updates on the new education that I'm uh, bringing out. Uh, so let's get started. So here we go. Let me share my screen real, real quick. Um, and uh, here we go. So you, you open up your Facebook uh, pro profile, um, and here at the top right of your uh, screen here, you see this little arrow and you hit the drop down button and you see create page. The other place where you can actually create your page is right here. So either or works, it does not really matter. You still land on this page. Now, um, if you are a restaurant, restaurant owner or if you are a company owner um, or if you work for a company and you're part of the marketing team, this is the same steps that you are going to take to, to help promote uh, your company's social media marketing presence, your face, the Facebook presence. Um, and Facebook is a very good platform for you to have engagement and interaction with your audience. Okay. Um, so it, you know, I want to distinguish real quickly, uh, between your Facebook fan page from your blog. Now people visit your blog uh, to see, uh, to, to get content a library of content, of everything that you're providing about your product and service, okay? Whether you're a restaurant, whether uh, you're a brick and mortar company, whether you're a Fortune 500 company, or whatever the case is, you're gonna want, um, the, the, if you have a website, you're, gonna, you're not gonna have the same interaction as you do with the Facebook fan page where, uh, here, I'll show you the difference real quickly. Uh, so let's see, you have McDonald's, Go to McDonald's website. Okay, so here's McDonald's website. Uh, here you have the menu about our food, uh, things like that. Uh, maybe I want to know about your location. Let's block that. It asks you to join our email list. I really don't want to do so. I don't eat at McDonald's, uh, but I, I'm just using McDonald's as a case. Nothing wrong with McDonald's. I just don't eat McDonald's. Um, so here's some deals trending now. Locate things like that. Okay. Uh, now let's take a look at McDonald's fan page real quick. And I'm just doing this exercise just so you can tell the difference between uh, why you should have a fan page, even though you have a website. So here, um, let's take a look at, so here's a uh, McDonald's fan page. And here, it, it tells me where's my closest fan, uh, uh, McDonald's next to, next to my house. It's got some photos. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at all the photos, okay? Uh, here's a McDonald's proof group at BTX. So there was an event that McDonald's promoted and they provide some uh, pictures from that. Uh, and then you have some cover photos, Boost Bellows, Pool Party presented by McDonald's. So uh, Bootsy Bellows. <laughs> so I don't know who that is, but still look at that. They pr they're pushing lifestyle, right? So it's very different than this presence. Um, again, Facebook is a social media platform. Right, so you're, they're looking for um, you know, a, a social presence, a connection with their audience. And here, as you can see, you'll have people liking, you have people commenting. Uh, beautiful woman, <laughs> could I come have a drink with me at McDonald's? Uh, and first stop is grabbing McCafe with Jamie Chung. That's who Jamie Chung is. Uh, so <laughs> there's a lot of interaction that you can do. You know, there's 16 people that have liked this. You can have some interaction with them saying like, hey, thank you so much for uh, liking this picture and this and that. Um, so there's also all these comments. You can have these interactions. You can react. Uh, you can have this engagement with your audience. This is what, the reason why you're going to have a fan page aside from the, you know, your website. Okay. 
Here, strictly informational. And you can have, obviously, some websites, they have like a little chat box here that you can click on, and then a chat box would open up and you can have an interaction with someone who is monitoring that chat box, okay? Um, but really, websites are informational. Uh, like, for example, you see mine, and uh, you'll see uh, a welcome video, um, and if you want to, uh, you know, get more information from me, all, all the latest uh, information about, um, you know, the latest tutorials like this Facebook fan page or uh, how to create your Twitter profile properly, how to create your YouTube channel properly, do sign up here. Um, so here, here are my recent blog posts. Uh, again, this is completely different than, uh, you know, my Facebook fan page. So here, facebook.com, ask Nazareth Beg. So this is completely different than what I have, where I can, uh, I have so many likes, I can invite people to like my fan page, uh, people who like my training, who have commented on it, things like that. I can interact with those people. I have people who are, uh, here, let's see, let's go under notifications. Actually, I gotta, because I have a business account with fa a Facebook, I do have uh, a different look and feel than what you will have. Um, so here, under notifications, I have people who are interacting with some of the ads that I, uh, I've uh, you know, uh, posted out there uh, through using Facebook ad. That's why I have a business uh, Facebook account, uh, and that's why I'm using Business Manager to manage my Facebook uh, page. So I have a lot of interaction with these people. So uh, let's go back to Facebook. Uh, okay, and let's continue with our journey of creating a page. All right, so you can do it here or you can do it here, like I said. All right, so either or works. And uh, again, you're, you're going to want to be, you're going to want to be independent of the company that you are with, okay? So um, let's take a look at T-Mobile. CEO. All right, I like this guy. I forget his name, John Ledger. Um, let me open up another Facebook. Now this is the CEO of, um, of T-Mobile. Um, and T-Mobile, see, he has his own fan page. He has over uh, 170,000 people liking him. The, he, although he is posting his uh, company, T-Mobile company, right? And if he decides to leave T-Mobile, he can rebrand himself. Uh, for example, he can change this picture, get rid of T-Mobile, get rid of this uh, page, and make an announcement like, hey, thank you so much for following me. Um, you, you know, I've changed companies or whatever. Um, the other thing that he does, which is very cool, is he has this uh, slow cooker Sunday. All right? So he's helping people learn how to cook beef short ribs using a, sl a slow cooker. So he has a show every Sunday, um, and he has people, he's one million views, okay? So he has branded himself independent of T-Mobile, all right? And he's actually providing some uh, value of his passion. He's, he's passionate about slow cooking, all right? Let's take a look at uh, Mr. John Ledger on Twitter, all right? Uh, this man has a lot of Twitter followers, okay? This guy, man has uh, 4.41 million followers, okay? Now, let's take a look at a Verizon uh, CEO. Now, I'm doing this exercise on purpose just to show the difference between uh, people who are with uh, very big companies. Let me just copy this, guys. Okay, he doesn't have a fan page, not at all. Uh, let's see if he's on Twitter. He's on Twitter, 21 followers. He hasn't tweeted, tells you a lot, <laughs> all right? So, um, you know, John Ledger, uh, uh, the CEO of T-Mobile, has, has successfully branded himself personally and has an amazing following on Twitter, amazing following on Facebook. Uh, although he's 
you know, and I don't personally encourage this. If you are, uh, for example, if you're a personal trainer, if you're a insurance agent, or if you're a realtor, or if you're a network marketer or affiliate marketer, because folks in that profession change companies. So if you're a network marketer that is with company A, uh, you know, the first two years of your career, uh, you can obviously may change into some other career that, uh, that you're passionate about. Um, if you're a realtor that's with uh, one real, real, uh, real estate agency, you may change into and join another uh, you know, real estate agency. If you're an insurance broker and you're with uh, you know, you know, MetLife, you may go to New York Life or something like that. So things happen. So you want, you're gonna want to uh, uh, you know, brand yourself, have a Facebook fan page around yourself aside from the company that you are with, okay? Uh, same thing with personal trainers, all right? It's personal trainers, brand yourself, that's where you can have the uh, most interaction with your uh, brand yourself and have a Facebook fan page and, and you can provide a lot of content. If you have like a lot of followers, you can provide workout videos uh, on your fan page. You can have, uh, you know, do Facebook lives on Facebook fan page, a lot of stuff that you can do with Facebook fan page um, if you're in the health and wellness industry. Um, same thing with insurance or network marketing, whatever it is. So let's get started. So now I'm getting, I'm going to make things a little bit more specific to network marketers. So here we go. Uh, so you're going to choose a category. You can be an actor, artist, uh, athlete, whatever it is, but for a network marketer or an entrepreneur, whatever you are, uh, you're going to either pick entrepreneur or public figure. I recommend starting with public figure first, and I'm going to show you how to, um, uh, change it a little bit uh, later and, or add more categories and the reason why you're going to want to choose public figure is because public figure will probably give you the most exposure versus um, people who are non entrepreneurs um, they will not be served up your fan page as a suggested fan page from Facebook that people should like so does, does that make sense so for example if I'm not an entrepreneur but I'm all into health and wellness Okay, uh, and what Facebook does is they start serving you content based on your interest. So if, I, if my interest is health and wellness, they may suggest a fan page uh, where it's centered around health and wellness, about losing weight, about living a wonderful lifestyle of health. Uh, they may suggest that fan page to that person, uh, in this example, me, where I like that person and follow uh, that person and I'm and I would get the content served from that person okay um, now if I'm if I'm if I were to create a fan page uh, that's only entrepreneur and if I'm a health and wellness person that's a non entrepreneur and that's not my interest entrepreneurship is not my interest then I I basically miss out on that crowd so public figure is generic enough where you know, you kind of throw a wide net. Now I'll show you how to add public figure and entrepreneurship in a second. Uh, so let's just get started. Um, so here there's some Facebook ter pages terms that I suggest you start, you read on your own. Uh, it's nothing too critical, but you know, just get familiar with it. So you don't do anything silly. Uh, so let's just say get started. Oh, let me. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you gotta actually put in a name. Um, so I'm gonna say test uh, or train Facebook fan page. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, gave page tips in Messenger. That's what you wanna do. So get started. Okay, so the name fan page trainer is invalid. Choose a different name, trying again. So, let me get my. Sorry, I need to plug in my power. 
second. Yeah, I have a resolution set that I can't see the top if I'm looking at the bottom. Um, so no big deal. So I can say fate FB uh, fan page trainer. Okay, let's check that. Nope, invalid. Um, so let's see, Nuzrith fan FB trainer. Okay, looks like it took it. All right, so once all this stuff is created, all right, you're gonna have to start filling out a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, okay? Not to worry, I'm gonna show you my Facebook fan page and we'll start filling the gaps. First, what you're gonna to wanna to do is have a profile picture of yourself, okay? <laughs> Just do not put, um, do not put like, uh, you know, a picture of your you and your friends hanging out and this and that. No, this is strictly a professional headshot of yourself. Um, it could be uh, from from the waist up or just as as tight as this uh, as I have it. Um, but just have people sh have your face showing. Have people see your face and ha be smiling. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that will take care of this part. Um, now for the banner, I had my banner professionally made by a graphics designer. Now you're gonna you're gonna say like, well, oh man, I gotta I gotta have a banner now. Look, just go to your backyard, cr find a nice scenery, or go to the park and just take a, a picture of yourself and make that your temporary banner, okay? Uh, or take a picture of yourself in your office working hard or something like that. Okay, just just create a quick picture and put it in this spot uh, of your banner. Okay, um, now you can have this part add button um, and have it send a message, or you can have it sign up to something. There's a lot of options there. Uh, but again, do not give. You know, you don't have to have a slogan right away. Um, you don't have to you know, get, get overwhelmed by, uh, you know, having a fancy banner, um, and this logo and professional picture and things like that. You don't, don't, don't get frustrated over that. Just create any nice picture of yourself, maybe you on a beach, um, you know, with your laptop or something where it shows that, you know, you're having fun or, uh, you know, you're smiling. Okay. Just have a placeholder. That's what I'm trying to say. Just have a placeholder. All right. So, um, so again, you're gonna fill in that spot, you're gonna add a button and have it however way you want. So they actually share with you a couple of things that you should do, okay? Welcome to your new page, uh, add a short descrip uh, description, create a username for your page, see all pages, so on and so forth. So the create a username for your page, that is important because you're gonna wanna do facebook.com slash Bay. that's if that's what you want. So. Um, so what I, what I would suggest, and this username cannot be the same as your uh, Facebook personal profile page. So my pr uh, Facebook personal profile page um, is, uh, it, you know, it says Nuzworth Big. So I can't have facebook.com slash Nuzworth Big as my username right here. So that's why I went with ask Nuzworth Big, okay? Uh, but if you want to come up with something else, success with Nuzrith or uh, whatever the case is, please do so. Um, and then you're going to add a profile picture, add a short description. And so let me just go into my settings and show you how I set it up. Um, so a couple of things. Again, you're going you're gonna to see everything like this, right? But however, because I created a Facebook business page, I'm going to manage my uh, I created a Facebook business account. So I'm gonna manage my account, my Facebook fan page through a business manager. All right. All right. So here again, I can add button, change button. Um, here in the about section, I have a short description, uh, a description of uh, what I have, what I'm about. Let's see, it's taking a little bit longer. You know what, I'll just, let's just go into settings actually. All right, so here you go into settings as well. All right, shortcuts page is pinned to your shortcuts and the, what, what they're talking about as far as shortcuts, 
is basically simply you have shortcuts in Facebook, right? Here are your shortcuts. You're just going to want to have it pinned there just for easy uh, access. Uh, page visibility, meaning the whole world can uh, see it. Page is published or you can unpublish it uh, or if you don't want people to see it. Um, visitor page, who can publish to your page timeline? I would say disable posts by other people on the page because you don't want people you know, being jerks and post stuff on your page that you don't want them to. People can contact my page privately, um, allow people to contact, so do, do that. Uh, tagging ability, allow others to tag in video published by Nuzworth Big. Um, I left that unchecked because allow others to tag photos and videos published by, so I have a different philosophy of who I want tag, uh, who, want, who can tag me. So uh, sometimes I don't want people tagging me because uh, I can't control who's tagging me and what. Um, so that's why I do that. Um, Others tagging this page allow uh, people and other pages to tag notes with big. So like other entrepreneurs, uh, page locations for frames allow other people to use notes with big as a location for frames. Um, that's fine. Uh, country restrictions. Uh, you, you know, I don't have a specific thing, but if you want to restrict yours from uh, some countries, you can always do so. Uh, age average restriction. You can all, you can always change it to like 18 and over. Uh, so, Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, now here, page moderation. Uh, here is, now if you're a network marketer, you're gonna want to make sure that these are the words that you're going to want prevent people to put comments on your on your Facebook fan page so you can pause this video right here um, and um, copy this <laughs> all right uh, I know there's some things that are you know uh, very bad words here uh, but it is definitely worth having this in your um, in the proper section of your Facebook fan page which is a page moderation blog posts or comments contain the following words Okay, so if you're a network marketer, uh, scam, pyramid scheme, pyramid, all this stuff is, is those, you just don't want that in there because you don't need to get into a Facebook battle uh, about, you know, if the legitimacy of uh, a network marketing business. Uh, profanity filter, uh, you know, you, I've already have all this, so I, you know, pretty much can't turn it off, you can do so, or you can, uh, make it medium or strong and always the nice thing about if there's anything that you don't understand about the settings You know, you can always put, hover or hover your mouse over the question mark and it'll tell you about it um, So here's where I was talking about so similar page suggestion include those with big when recommended similar pages people might like on a page timeline Okay, so this is very important where Facebook will will recommend similar pages people might like on uh, on a page timeline so this is where I made the distinction between public figure and entrepreneur. So this is where it's uh, kind of important. Okay, so I would check this. Uh, page updates, automatically publish posts when info is updated on this page, posts in multiple languages, um, allow people who manage this po page to write posts in multiple languages. So this is for people who, uh, other than yourself, who are managing your Facebook fan page. Now, if you become the successful entrepreneur and you can't manage your fa Facebook fan page by yourself, you're gonna want to assign people uh, the ability to ma manage your Facebook fan page and respond to messages and respond to comments to posts and things like that. Um, so common ranking, most recent comments are shown page default, so that's how I have it. Um, downloading, to, uh, downloading to Facebook is allowed. Uh, download page, merge page, so things like that. These are pretty much self-explanatory, um, so you can definitely look into that yourself, but that's pretty much it, okay? Um, let's go into edit page real quick. Um, actually, no, let's go into, let's go into the actual page itself. Okay, here is where you're going to want to say see all actually there's another one uh, so again uh, click on this oops did not want to click on that 
click on this dot, uh, this three dot icon right here and say edit page info. All right. So this page info is different than uh, the settings that I sent you, uh, that I shared with you right now. Okay, so real quickly, um, category, public figure. You can edit this, okay? You can add multiple categories, public figure and entrepreneur, all right? So if you want to have that category of entrepreneur on there, you can definitely do so by here, okay? Uh, name, Nazareth Fig, username, ask Nazareth Fig. Uh, here's your story, I'm all about helping entrepreneurs with their business, blah, blah, blah. Um, edit start date, edit personal interest, uh, contact info, uh, send message, so on and so forth. Here's my email, my business email, same email as my website, and that's my website right there. Uh, that's my Twitter, Ask Nazareth Fig. Um, so if I'm making a tweet, it will also come over here. You can have it such that uh, it's linked. Um, edit gender, add menu, this, so for restaurant, add, edit personal information, entrepreneur, public figure. So these are all very cool things that you need to have. All right, so that's in the about section, okay? And you can edit page info. All right, so a lot of people, um, you're, again, you're gonna want to have a fan page if you wanna run Facebook ads as well. So without a fan page, you cannot run Facebook ads, okay? Um, and once you create your Facebook fan page, uh, the easiest way to, uh, to start doing some ads is create a post, um, all right? Just create a post. Let's take a look at, okay, so here's a post that I did. Um, it's part of an educational series. And here, what you can do is actually boost post. Um, and then when you boost a post, you can actually create a Facebook ad. Now, creating a Facebook ad is a whole different thing that I teach, um, but that's all there is for creating a Facebook fan page. I hope this was helpful. Uh, do like, comment, or share, and ask questions, um, and, uh, and do, share with <laughs> whoever uh, you know can, can benefit from this. Uh, also, look forward to my other educational videos uh, about creating your Twitter profile properly, your YouTube channel properly, um, and I hope this helps. Uh, if you wanna stay up to date, like my fan page um, and, and tell other people about my fan page, and do go to um, my website and get, because uh, what I do is I, whatever I post like this video, I post it to YouTube and then I put it on my blog and then I share it on my social media platforms uh, that I, I have a presence on. So join my newsletter and you get the latest and greatest updates um, and also like my Facebook fan, uh, fan page so you can stay on top of all the new things that, I'm, uh, uh, that I'll, I will be publishing, all right? So I hope this was helpful, thank you so much. Again, comment, like, and share. Uh, and ask questions, reach out to me, uh, nuzrithbake.com, or email me, nuzrith at nuzrithbake.com. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks. Bye.